there. It's Sanu, you are Ikea enthusiast, back again. Nice to meet you all. Today, I'm going to introduce some of the new items I've purchased from Ikea, as well as a larger storage solution that I've recently installed. It's a shelf unit, and let me tell you, it's fantastic. The cost performance is excellent, and I'm extremely satisfied with it. Additionally, there's a new room set that has a dreamy and wonderful space, so I'd love for you to check it out with me. In the previous video, I introduced some cost-effective storage items from IKEA, including the Boxel storage shelf. I was so impressed by this product that I decided to buy it. It's a shelf that attaches to the wall and includes mesh baskets and other components. The purchasing process was very convenient using IKEA's online planner. This planner helps you design your ideal shelf, ensuring you don't forget any parts, making the ordering process very easy. Sorry for suddenly showing you our cluttered closet, but I'll be organizing it and showing you that process. This is a fairly deep closet in my child's room. I plan to install the boxel system here. The silver rack I had before was fine, but adjusting the shelf positions was a bit cumbersome. Since the boxel system doesn't have sidewalls, I thought it would allow for more efficient storage. I decided to paint the wallpaper white, so I started painting it on a whim. Since it's just inside the storage, I painted it quickly and roughly. Now, let's start installing the Boxel system. Here are the items I purchased. They were delivered via small parcel delivery. I chose the one meter long supports, so they came as a small parcel. The shelves come in two widths, 80 centimeters and 60 centimeters. I chose the 80 centimeters one, which later turned out to be a bit challenging. These are the brackets for supporting the shelves. When using the planner, it automatically added these to my shopping list, so I didn't forget anything. You need to drill holes in the wall to secure the system with screws. The installation was straightforward except for one thing, which I'll mention later. First, you attach a support rail at the top and then hang the uprights on it. At this stage, they just hang there. Then you place the shelves on top to determine the width, so you don't need to measure. That's very well designed. As long as you check that everything is level, you should be fine. I don't have an electric screwdriver, so I made pilot holes with an awl and then secured the screws with a manual screwdriver. I bought the screws at IKEA. They sell a screw set. Also, IKEA's official YouTube channel has a video on how to assemble the Boxel system, so you can refer to that for help. It was much easier than I thought. The only challenging part was that the 80 semi-petrol wide shelves are quite heavy, around 3 kilos each. Using steel might have made them lighter, but these are very sturdy. If you want to divide the box or baskets, the Scub series boxes fit perfectly. Scub boxes become rigid when you zip them up, and when not in use, you can fold them compactly. They've recently become cheaper, and you can never have too many of them. Highly recommended. Look at this! The scoop boxes fit perfectly in the boxer basket. It's very satisfying. Right now, this closet mostly contains toys, but the position of the shelves and drawers can be easily adjusted. So, I think it will be great to change it according to my child's growth. Without the side walls, it looks very neat and the storage capacity has actually increased. Boxel has a depth of 40 cm, so it can be installed in shallow closets too. I use the space in front for a wagon to make full use of the space. This time, I bought baskets and shelves, but there are other components like hanger rods available, allowing for various arrangements. The setup, like in this photo above the washing machine, looks great too. Since it was easier than I thought, I'm considering using it more in my home. 
This is IKEA Yokohama store in Japan. The room set has been renewed, so let me introduce it to you. Look at this, it's a dreamy, special laundry room. In large houses in countries like the USA, is it common to have a room like this? From a wide balcony to a laundry room, isn't it amazing? Such a spacious room is rare in Japan's narrow living environments. I'm quite envious. I suppose you fold the laundry on this counter. This is the metered kitchen system from IKEA. The white hanging rail on the wall costs only $4.99. It's the Moolig product. This navy colored mushroom like item is a portable speaker. It's water resistant, so it's safe to use in the bathroom. The wall mounted whiteboard called Svensos is very functional and doesn't give an office like feel. Next to it is a living dining room set. Isn't this chair just adorable? Sorry for saying it every time, but I've wanted it for so long. I should buy it soon, talking to myself. Both the white bookshelf in the foreground and the one used as a living chest in the back are Billy. Billy doesn't take up much space because it's not very deep. Inside this Billy shelf are storage boxes like Upta Terra. The boxes are sturdy, so they provide a sense of security even when holding heavy items. The divided boxes on the left are the Sunersta boxes, only $0.99. The top of the Billy shelf was used as a display space. The photo frames displayed in this living space are so nice that I decided to replicate them. In the living room, there's the king of sofas, the Soderham. It's wonderful. The green accents are a lovely touch to the interior design. IKEA sells a lot of frames. These photo frames are relatively new. By emptying the closet, I threw away a lot of my child's notebooks but I found some cute illustrations drawn by my child, so I decided to cut them out and display them. These frames allow you to just insert from the top, making it very easy to change pictures. I should have cut out more illustrations to switch them out. This is probably the character Panda-kun from the anime Polar Bear Cafe. I'll display it on this shelf. This is the Lurberg rack from IKEA. It's great for display. These photo frames have a pop design, giving a cute atmosphere. Next, I'll talk about cushion covers. This summer, IKEA has released many colorful cushion covers. Among them, I bought a pure white one. Many people recommended it in the comments and DMs, saying it was very good, so I decided to buy it. The price is a surprising $2.99. It comes in five colors. I opened it and washed it right away. I was worried it might fray because it's cheap, but it was fine. Here is the cover after washing. It didn't wrinkle too much, but since I was filming, I ironed it to make it look nice. I probably won't iron it next time. I didn't put it in the dryer. This brown one is the same type I bought before. The rectangular type has different color variations from the rectangular type. The inner cushion I had was polyester, so I put in a polyester one again. Polyester inner cushions tend to lose their shape unless you need them a lot. I often get asked what inner cushions I use, so let me show you. This is a feather type inner cushion. IKEA has both polyester and feather types. You can probably tell from the look that the feather type is very plump. Can you see how much fuller it is compared to polyester? However, some people are bothered by the smell of feathers. If it smells strong when you open it, it's best to return it right away. The Lager Popple I bought this time has a very nice texture, smooth and pleasant to the touch. 
It's 100% cotton, but it has a slightly linen-like feel, perfect for summer. It gave a very elegant look to the interior. Thank you for the recommendation. I have more purchases to show you. I've already used this several times, but this is a collapsible bucket. Can you see how sturdy it is? It's a 10 liter size, quite large. It fits snugly in the sink, just perfect. My child uses it to wash their shoes. The bottom has ridges like a washboard, so it's great for scrubbing. It's been well received because it stays stable while scrubbing. Compared to my favorite yellow washing bowl, you can see it's much bigger. It's large and very affordable. It's very sturdy. Highly recommended. The color is also cute. So Junwei, let me ask you all. What do you repeatedly buy at IKEA? In Japan, freezer bags are incredibly popular, but I'm curious to know what's popular in other countries. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end. I'm looking forward to your comments. See you in the next video.